I've been a shooter for the past 20 years or so. I've been in the military, I've been a firearms instructor. So it's been a hobby for much of my life. And when 3D printing came around, I'm also a technical person. And I figured, hey, it's a new gadget I get to play with. And uh, why not mix these two things up and see what I can make? Well, a 3D printer is much like a regular printer, except it prints in plastic or another material. Mine's a plastic one. And uh, it prints layer after layer until uh, it's built up a 3D object that is functional ready to use. First of all, you want to measure your original part and uh, get a good idea of what you want to build. Then you model that out on a computer. And uh, once you've done that, you uh, upload that model up to a uh, flash drive, stick in the printer, glue uh, up the plate, select what you want to print, hit the print button, and uh, wait for a while, and you're good to go. Well, you get the lower receiver, which is legally the firearm. You can order all the other parts for a firearm online because those are accessories. Therefore, once you've printed the receiver, you can uh, assemble the rest by just mail order uh, with little trouble. And it also cuts the expense down significantly. I mean, this is America. We do all kinds of things we don't need to do. It's something we want to do, and we have a lot of fun doing it. So it's a good hobby, and it doesn't harm anybody. AR-15s are remarkably safe, and uh, very few crimes are committed with them. So uh, I don't see that as an actual danger to the general public or to shooters. And it's a very flexible firearm that millions of people are using. So I definitely see it as a positive that people can go out and do all these things. I will see a lot more 3D printing happening. It's definitely a growing market. So uh, we'll definitely see a change to a lot of manufacturing. Uh, firearms as well as many other industries.